The first day at the Guam Track and Field Association's ID camp drew over 40 athletes. Elementary to adult members who participate in the camp could be tapped to join future national team training camps. We have some national level athletes here and you can see that the look of some of the younger, younger athletes seeing them run and they're like, you know, they're, sometimes their jaw drops. But you know, the way we're trying to, the way we see it is uh, a rising tide raises all ships. So if we can increase the caliber across the island, uh, not just, you know, uh, with particular athletes and everybody's going to get better. And the whole island, again, when we step out, step up to Pacific Games, micro games, whatnot, and you, you know, eventually, hopefully have some qualifiers for Olympic Games, we got to start with this and we got to start young and uh, we got to get the word out to more athletes here on Guam. As the GTFA prepares for the 2023 Micronesia Games in the Marshall Islands and the 2023 Pacific Games in Vanuatu, they are always looking to lure new talent into the sport. I feel like there's some excitement about this sport and you know, and it's been a while maybe since we've had that. So we want to one, make sure that we hold on to it and ride that momentum. But you know, again, we also can't be even satisfied with the amount that we have now at this camp. We got to continue on, have more camps, get more kids involved, get more athletes involved. And yeah, and continue to have it grow because I've said it before. Um, I don't see any reason why Guam can't compete in every single event against every athlete. I mean, we, we've seen across the world. We've seen smaller countries have some athletes make Olympic finals. You know, make win Olympic medals. And again, if we put up roadblocks on ourselves, we're never going to reach that. So we got to have that mentality that we can't compete. We just got to get the athletes here. We got to invest in the athletes, and we got to make sure the athletes are motivated to keep going. And that's, you know, this is step one for us. And we, uh, I'll tell you what, this board and, and, and all of us, we're, we're motivated to get the caliber increased uh, to another level. In programming news, Monday, November 7th on KUAM TV 11, at 4 in the morning, catch the Buffalo Bills take on the New York Jets. Keep a lock to KUAM TV 11 at 725 in the morning. Matthew Stafford and the Los Angeles Rams face Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Switch the channel over to KUAM TV 8 at 11.15 in the morning. Sunday night football, Tennessee Titans at the Kansas City Chiefs.